PLC Network here at CES 2024. We're standing in front of the Creality booth, and this is Wu Rem. This is the marketing director for Creality. It's yeah. a pleasure to meet with you today. Yeah, I'm honored to meet you. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, obviously, we've had a lot of exposure to Creality over the years. You've sure, been around sure. for a long time, and we personally have had a lot of uh, experience. Uh, we've uh, covered your products for years now, yeah. and we've even done some, a lot of hands-on review with quite a few models, both filament and with resin. And uh, of course, the number one thing here at CES we're always excited to see is what's new. Sure. What's exciting, what's coming, what's what's next, or at least for now, what's next for Creality. And we're standing in front of two of those printers. So what do we have here that's right behind us today? Yeah, well, we can see that this is a new product. It's called K1C. It is belong to the K1 theory, but uh, why is called K1C? You know, C stands for camera. Is it, we have equipped with a smart AI camera, and also C also stand for carbon. This is a printer that uh, super good for printing the carbon material. So uh, besides this one, uh, we also have the very good uh, air, uh, what we call air filtering. Uh, you know, this equi equipped with this uh, function. And furthermore, that uh, we also upgraded on this uh, extruder as well as this throat by using a bet, you know, better version. So also in the software, where we keep upgrading to make it really the better one. So I think this is uh, some of the uh, features uh, for uh, to compare with our K1. Yeah, but the other is the same. You can you know you can link to the Wi-Fi. You can do the group controlling and. Also, this is have a very nice outlook and also pretty plug and play to, to, to play with, easy to use, yeah. And it still works with programs like Kira? Yeah, it's yep, well with works perfectly yeah. fine. So it's yeah, fully enclosed, sure. has a nice filtration to it yeah. and everything, yeah. and it is fast, up to 600 millimeters per second. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So it has a lot of features going for it here. Yeah. Uh, what's uh, is this on the market right now? Because this was recently launched, right? Yes, uh, it's a recently launched and also it's already in the market since the January. Yeah. And what's the price point on on a model like this? Uh, the price about like five nine nine dollar. Five hundred ninety nine. Five hundred ninety nine. Yes. No surprise there. Always competitive in the price. And now you have another one too. You have a new version of the Ender Three. Yeah, sure. So that's the Ender Three V Three. What's yes. new coming from the new model besides the visual, the obvious visual design? Oh, actually, our Ender Three V Three that uh, it have a very good outlook. Um, this is what we call the using the die casting technology, so the same technology of a Tesla. So this it, this is kind of a structure to make sure that it is uh, very stable, and when it's printing the you know it can up to like a 600 mm per second, the same speed of this one, so it still can keep it very stable, and also that you have a, is a is a use the linear structure of X Y motion, and also this is. It is a uh, quite uh, quite unique uh, design as well. Um, also, I can say that you know this uh, Ender Three V Three uh, product. Also, you can uh, you can see that you know from the outlook and also from the in internally that this, the the you know the, to guarantee about the speed and also comes smart because it is also can link to the Wi-Fi and or use your your mobile phone to control it and do the group. Ooh, the printing, etc. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's neat. It's actually it's really nice to see Ender Three still live today. You know, and a new version. You know, it's modern and fast. Yeah. It's nice to see the up to 600 millimeters per second because that's really competing with everybody else that's out there. Sure. Or maybe it's really giving them something to compete against because yeah. pretty much you set the standard for a lot of this stuff. Sure. And uh, so it's nice to see that. This is a really attractive looking printer. Uh, so this one's about $600. The Ender Three, I'm gonna guess, it's more competitive. Yeah, our Ender Three V Three. It is the we, we will uh, we will keep the innovation and also that uh, our Ender Three. It is a very popular uh, brand actually by a lot. It can become the IP also <laughs> for, for a lot of our user. So we will keep uh, innovating. You have Ender Three V Three, and then maybe later have Ender Three V Four, V Five. These kind of things. So the price is owning like uh, three hundred ninety nine dollar. So it is very affordable. So why uh, and like all the ways uh, we talk to our users that you know the key value, the brand value for clarity, we would like to make sure that our product it is uh, first of all is uh, really user friendly, and also it is uh, smart, and also the third things that everybody everybody love it. It is affordable, 
and besides this one it is versatile so we got a uh, different option for our users so we have this K1 theory it is more enclosed one we have and the 3v3 it is like an open one yeah it's called deep car design or, or grab you know and also we have um, also that you know we have the this kind of uh, what we call the enjoyable so we will hopefully that all the, our fans or our users can enjoy their the whole experience of our 3d printing technology yeah amazing and we can't wait to see what comes next from ender obviously there's a lot sure. of great things to look forward to thank you and uh later in the year i'm sure we're going to find out some more information from you as time continues and there's more models to talk about yeah. but this is the k1c the ender 3 v3 look exciting 399 599 we can't wait to hear some more uh, maybe we'll get some hands-on in the future ourselves and if so we'll talk some more well sure. thank you so much it's been a pleasure thank you thank and you can't wait to see what's next yeah we can wait and also any suggestion or feedback you can feel free to give to us because one of the key things for Creality to keep growing it is because we always listen to voice of our users and also we get close to contact with all our users and also our, you know, our, all the media and fans. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely, of course. Thank you. And we'll <laughs> stay in touch. And of course, if you're interested in any of Creality's website, or excuse me, their products, go to their website, the Creality's website. A search on Google will get you there. There's like two different websites too that you can visit for Creality yeah. uh, on the USA market. And all of their versions are on there. And I can say we've, we've had a lot of experience from theirs, from filament to resin, and all of it has been a great experience and uh, you can find a lot of those stories on pocnetwork.net once again thanks a lot it's been a complete pleasure thank you very much honor. Thank you. if you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest and or at least the gadgets we cover remember to subscribe right here subscription button click it you're going to want to there's lots of videos interviews previews all sorts of stuff button click it